Howdy, Possum Patty here. It is July 18th, but I'm doing some nature journaling about some extraordinary finds that I found in June. So this page is definitely about taking a second look. My first find was this little black insect out by the garden. I noticed it on a hosta plant. I wasn't quite sure what I was looking at, but then I saw it was on a web, so it must be a spider. I kept shaking the leaf, trying to figure out which end was up. I wanted to see it move so I could better understand the different body parts. I decided that the head was at the bottom and the abdomen was at the top, so it was hanging upside down. And the abdomen had a very unusual shape, like an arrowhead, with little spines on the side. I think this may be the arrow-shaped microthena. The second name is sagittata, which means arrow-shaped. This spider is an orb weaver and doesn't have any venom, so I guess it's just about harmless to humans. I'm really glad I took a second look at this insect because I had never seen a spider that looked like this before. I saw a black head pop up in the grass under the bird feeder. At first, I thought it was the rose-breasted grosbeak, which I had journaled about way back on May 24th. But wait, something's different here. The beak is black, and it didn't have a rose breast. It had a little bit of rust underneath the wing. So I ran inside and got the bird guide, and it's an eastern towhee. It really does pay to take a second look. Now look at the film again, and next to the big bird is a little bird hopping around, and that's a chipping sparrow. And can you believe that the eastern towhee is also a sparrow. It's very large and dramatic compared to the little chipping sparrow, but they are related. I'm so glad I took a second look that day. So now I have a new bird, the Eastern Tohi, to add to my bird watch list. And I have a new arachnid or spider to look for. I want to give a shout out to Sherry and Rachel and Susie, my loyal possum peeps. And I have two new subscribers, Donna and another Susan. And I'd like to mention two other nature journaling channels. One is Wandering Leaves Studio and the other one is Do Journal and I'll put their links below. Please give them a visit. Happy nature journaling. Bye bye.